Hi, I'm Carol. And I'm Dave, and we're here in the Georgia room of the Salt Table here in Savannah, our new wine tasting bar. And today we're going to talk about salt plates and all of the great things you can do with them. This is a 200 million year old block of salt. And it is cut from the Himalayan mountains and it's uh, used to, in a lot of different ways actually, but it's used to cook food, it's used to, as a cutting board, and it's used for uh, other purposes like presentation. And the nice thing about it is it's very easy to care for. Uh, you never wash this, never put soap on it, you just rinse it off. If there is any food on it, you just scrape that off with the side of a spatula. Um, it's salt, so it's antimicrobial. Nothing lives or grows on salt, so you want to present a beautiful tray of sushi. Uh, you could freeze this, put it in your freezer, and it's going to retain the, um, the cold from the freezer and keep your foods cold and put a little bit of that seasoning in, in your food as well. People do fruit trays, cheese trays, using the salt plates. Very, very nice presentations, very nice for entertaining. If you think about gift giving, if you have a foodie in your family or friend, this is the perfect item. It's something they probably don't have, uh, and if they get it, they'll love it. And they're really inexpensive. This one here is about $14.95. This one here is $59.95. This one here weighs about 20 pounds. This one weighs probably two or three pounds. So, and there, as you can see, there are several sizes. We have a number of different sizes. And they come in other forms as well. They're, they're round uh, salt plates. And also, this is a really neat item. You can look at this. Everybody thinks that's a candle holder. Well, it isn't. This is a tequila shot glass. So you freeze this, put your tequila in it, take a shot. I thought it was a crazy idea. Honestly, we sell a whole bunch of them, and Oprah recently recommended these as a really cool Christmas present. So we went through a lot of them this past Christmas. When, when people use this Himalayan pink salt, um, they tend to use less because it's a little bit stronger in flavor. And so uh, people are very concerned about uh, using too much salt nowadays. Well, it's the sodium in processed foods that gives you a lot of your salt. This salt here gives you uh, what I call good salt. Carol is the recipe queen here. All the different uh, blends that we have, most of those are Carol's recipes and many of them use as a base Himalayan salt. It makes a huge difference in the flavor that you get out of the rest of the ingredients within those seasoning blends. Well, that's all we have for today, talking about our Himalayan pink salt plates. Yep, we'll come back again real soon. We'll talk about some of our other products down here in the Georgia room, uh, where we feature a lot of great products from the Georgia and South Carolina area. Have a great day, and we'll be talking to you real soon.